Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, today we're gonna go behind the scenes on this music video I just shot and delivered. Um, I'll have the links for everything below. Let's get into it. Hey, if you're new here, my name is Chris, otherwise known as Chipex Hazard. I'm a photographer and videographer. Today we're talking about video. And uh, I just recently shot and edited this whole music video. Um, so I'll leave the links down below for the actual full video. And then uh, this is the artist. His name is Daniel Pratt. The song is First Heartbreak. Anyways, getting into some of these shots, I'm going to take you through like how we lit it, what it looks like in the actual camera, and then graded. So you can see kind of before and afters, what the light is doing in the scene, everything. So... Let's get into this first one. All right, so we made it. This is our set for the day, thanks to my friends in the back. Sarah and Drake let us use their space to record some of the scenes for the girl. And we're gonna start setting up so you can see what it looks like. And this is the space. So watch us change the whole thing to fit the video. So, this is the setup. We got the 200D up here with the Light Dome Mini set to 25%. We got these two natural practicals that just so happen to work out. There's a loom cube underneath the microwave. And then I'm trying to decide if I want a side light that's over here, this panel. If I want that on or not to add a little bit of sunlight warmth because this is a fairly cold scene. But yeah, just getting a straight on shot with the 24 and the speed booster. So, nice and wide. Here we go. Okay. Let me put eye drops in my eyes over here. Go for it. This thing is so Dude, I thought it was way easier than that, but. Did we have a full fan to just get on the belt? And I start really hard not to use a new panel or other panels like Cindy. That's me. So I'm like, just go ahead and use it up so I can put the other one on. Now I need a tear deck though, bro. Huh? I need a tear deck now so you can send these things up time for a while. Right. Especially if this is what you're going to be doing. Or like, uh, what is it? The tentacles? Oh, yeah. They're the wire. Yeah. Open for so it's good. It would just be nice to have everything wireless. Absolutely. And not have to worry about it. Next thing that's going to be you need to act for Hazer. I know. I almost borrowed a fog machine, but the last time I tried fog, it was like too heavy. Well, the, you and then I had to sit there and fan it. Thick, for like, well, you thick. said you got to get the... Um, who was it? Mark Bone did a whole thing on it. He's like, if you use normal fog fluid, it is thick, but they make like a page fluid because it's like thinner. Same, use the same machine, but it's much less thinner. Oh. Oh, 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 she's almost gone. All right. <laughs> and whenever you're ready. So right after that scene, we shifted the 24 mil, brought it down, and then angled it a little bit so we can add some of that first counter in to kind of block off some of that because we're doing a shot match. So we're literally getting the guy to do the same exact shot later in the video. You'll be able to see all of that when you watch the actual music video. Um, not a crazy setup. Lighting stayed exactly the same. We did not move anything else around besides the camera. So yeah, that's that shot. That's how, this is how it looks. And then this is how it looks graded. 
on to the next one. For these shots, I tried to keep everything as simple as possible. I forgot to grab a wide of this next shot, um, but essentially all it is the 200D pointed straight down with the softbox still on it. Um, it's supposed to emulate the, like a normal, typical family room, like ceiling light. Um, that's, so we kept it like that. And yeah, and just move the camera around. This first shot is with the 24 mil. Uh, it's a Nikon 24 F2 with the speed booster on it. Is for this shot in the next one. And then we shot, shot the next one with the Sure 35 mil anamorphic. Honestly, if I knew how different the color was in this lens, I probably wouldn't have used it in the shoot. But my buddy let me borrow it, so I kind of felt like I had to use it. So I had to do a lot of color matching. You'll see how much more like saturated and like colored it is uh, when we get to that shot. But that's what that is. Um, so if, when you see the bars come in, that's what... That should be the dead giveaway. That's what lens we're using. So here are those shots. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Let me double check real quick. And then to quickly wrap up that day of shooting, we sprinted to a parking garage, drove all the way up to the roof to get the sunset because it was actually killer and worked out really well for what we were trying to shoot. Um, and yeah, we used my Jeep and the 35 anamorphic. Um, so that's this shot. It's the intro shot. We also did another shot match. You'll see the other shot of this one later um, to kind of match the moods. All right, so this following day, we went to my other buddy's house, and uh, they love lights. Both of them do. Thank you, Scott and Lance. So they have lots of lights, and they got a little carried away. So we had, I want to say, two Novas outside of the house blasting as the backlight for the whole couch shots on this one um, as well as I think we had a 300D it's a 300 or 120D um, inside um, pointing down as our main key light and then also a flat box light I don't know what it is to be honest with you but it's like a panel light um, I want to say that was just kind of adding like a little bit of softness, just to kind of round out some of the shadows because the key light was like at 2%, just blasting, but it turned out really cool. Um, here are some of these shots. Uh, a few of them are shot mainly between the anamorphic 35 and the Helios 44 Um, We'll bounce between those two shots. Uh, just kind of had the talent move around. Lighting stayed the same. And mainly just moved the camera. So here are those here are those shots. And also here's behind the scenes of what all that fun day was looking like. On set. Oh, wow, well, you're really bright over there. Can you just bring the clapper out and there's no audio we're seeing? <laughs> We can go take a sip. Why not? <laughs> is this the Anamorphic piece? Yeah, I think so. I mean, the Anamorphic piece should be able to monitor. Yeah, it's not on here. <laughs> Hold it back up. Looks good. Looks a little noisy. The haze. Oh, it's the haze. 
Just like, don't have AIDS. So, I would just say... Sorry. It's like, I don't want to that. I was like, he's like, too like, perfect. <laughs> seen the outfits he sent me on Pinterest. Talk about I'm too perfect, bro. You sent me a Vogue catalog. <laughs> Talk about this guy's an alcoholic. <laughs> I'm sure. I think I'll be a little tricky with it. I guess. Because then, then you'll just look country. It would not just look goofy. <laughs> <laughs> so, let me have you just kind of like, just chill. Yeah, have it like in your hand. Just kind of like, you can like lay it down. Just like across you. Like this? Yeah. And just like chill there. You can like wipe your face. Have you kind of just kind of like, just kind of like wipe your face, like you just chug some, like you fix it and take like a sloppy nap. <laughs> exactly, a wet jeans Oh, yeah, okay. Hold on, not yet. You can set up for the shot. Yeah, I was gonna say, maybe don't spill it on yourself. When... Yep. <laughs> 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 oh, you're crying as there's beer pouring <laughs> on him. I feel like having a hand. It really is my first time. I feel like uh, having is... a hand in my pants is so necessary for this shot. <laughs> <laughs> just give me the Trey Kennedy uh, oh. Christian, Christian like music video every vibes. Music video. Yeah, every music video. Yeah, I start with a fight. What? Is this guy Dutch angling? Maybe. Is he? Yeah, it's Dutch angle. Look at Chris. I had an, uh... It's so proud. Did you set up? That was good, man. Like a real alcoholic. <laughs> you got, you got Surprise! Professionals here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Go for it. Let's do that one more time, but can we spin around the Tito's bottle? There you go. Perfect. Of course. Alright, now go. I think I was doing too much with my hands. <laughs> Let's do it one more time. Alright. This song is uh, anybody cool. Alexa, play Drake. Go for it. I don't know why it's... <laughs> <laughs> you forgot how white I was. What the hell? Forgot how white your friend was, huh? Chris, you gotta sit in the chair so you can get a shot like you're the director. And you have to uh, sit okay. like this. Gotta look. All right, after those shots on the couch, we moved pretty much the entire setup around for the kitchen shots. Um, once it was set up, that was pretty much it. We ended up bringing in a Fresnel to blast some fake blinds onto like the, into the kitchen cabinets or something like that um, into the corner. Uh, you brought the 300D over as our main key light. Um, still, we tried to match what we did the day before as best as possible 
Obviously, there's more haze, and I want to say those are the only two lights we use for these shots. Um, and the wide shot first is the 24 mil. Get the nice, tried to match it as best we could with the other kitchen shot. And then, yeah, then we moved it around, dropped it down, same, li same lens, um, just a different angle. And that wraps up that day. Here's what those shots look like. That is a wrap here. Thanks, Zach. <laughs> Your boy's star actor over here. And then Did you get good shots? A1's to Tori. Oh my the gosh, beer. I haven't been in one of these since Iceland. Uh, yeah! She's back, baby! <laughs> That's crazy. He's mad. That's how much I don't vlog anymore. Chris got a kid on the way. No, and a, what? No, I don't. <laughs> it's in the water. Here we go. Thanks, Scott, for letting hey. us use your place. Always. And Tori. Wow. Not I'm a cool shows. guy. Thanks, Lance, for being here. What? Can you hear <laughs> his shutter? <laughs> I know, right? I mean, listen. 8,000 photos know. later. <laughs> That's the thing about haters. You don't know the haters. All right, so it's officially the last day of shooting for this music video. And uh, going to be breaking some bottles and trying out some things. So uh, hopefully this works out. Go for it. So I messed up, it's not the last shoot, it's the second to last. I have one more scene to shoot after this, but we're trying to find a place to shoot at. Um, and then yeah, then that's it. Right now we're trying to get the car reflections to like dim down, but we kind of need it to darken outside a little more. So right now we're just killing time, which I never thought I would have to say. Huh? Yeah, go now. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> All right, go for it. In the last day shoot, we popped over to this bar. They were so kind to let us just shoot whatever we wanted in there. It was super helpful. Um, Brought zero lights. We brought the Helios 44.2 and the Nikkor 24 F2. Um, just used those. Went super simple. And that, we just used natural light. Um, did, like, some pool shots. Some, like, hanging out at the bar shots. Here's what those look like. We kept everything super simple. I think it only took us an hour to get these shots. And then we were out of there. Um, just kept it nice and easy. Go for it.
and go for it. So hopefully this was super helpful to you guys. Um, I tried to d do my best to kind of give you like how it looks from my perspective anyways for a music video. Um, if you guys want to check it out, it's linked below. Um, I had a lot of fun like shooting and editing it. Uh, yeah. See you guys in the next one. Also, leave a comment if you have any questions below. I'd love to help you guys out and answer anything, um, whether it's lighting, gear, whatever. Um, if you got a question, I should have an answer. See you in the next one.